Hi and welcome to Car Mechanical and in this video I'm going to take you through how to diagnose and repair a 40 math on a Volkswagen, Audi or anything in the VW family. Okay so the first thing I did to diagnose the issues with the car I went into VADCOM and looked for anything that stood out in the fault codes and I didn't really get anything. Uh, the car was very flat over 3000 RPM uh, in more so over 2000 RPM as well. I just wasn't really seeing any power but I was seeing it right at the bottom end. So I've gone into VADCOM and I've pulled some uh, data login and you can see on the screen a yellow line around the 550 mark. That's the air mass reading that the MAF sensor is getting. It's seeing 550 air mass. The red line is what the car expects to be seeing or about what it should be seeing. Because of this we're seeing less fuel put in. Now I wanted to also do a sense check to make sure I didn't have a boost leak. I did have a look at a couple of things and I thought I had a split in the pipe so I replaced it but it was just wearing out. I also thought I had a tiniest leak which it must have been ever so slight so it didn't affect things. You can see on this graph here that the boost that it's specifying and the boost that it's seeing are more or less the same. In fact the car's probably producing a bit more boost than it should do. In the final part of logging, you can see just looking at the green line there where the fuel in should be, that it's been limited by the smoke limitation and that is influenced by how much air it's seeing through the MAF sensor. So the green line is running well under everything else. The blue line is just the engine speed so that is going to be all over but we can see that the yellow line for torque limitation and the torque request line which is in red are both moving around. There is a little bit of deviation with the engine speed but they're pretty much moving around with the green line running underneath. So at this point I'm fairly sure it's the math that's gone, however I want to try a hack I've read about online which is called a diode hack. See the diode on screen, now, I've already put this in place but I'm just going to illustrate where I've put it. So I'm going to take the taping off, the diode sits between pins 4 and 5 and it flows to the left so to speak. So the going into pin 4 would be the wire and going into pin 5 would be the other wire that has the red mark on the side of it. So just as I've taken the tape off now I can illustrate to you. So it's exactly how that's gone on. So you have the D that runs to the right of the connector and just moving across to the left you can see where the red side of the diode is where it, the pin 5 position is there. So with that now done let's have a look at the output we're seeing from Bagcom. Okay so this is just a snapshot but we can see that it stays at a flat line with the diode in until I hit 3000 RPM or thereabouts and then we see the air mass pick up and it tells it to put in its maximum fuel in. So if we look at the green line for the fuel in I can now see it's moving in line with everything else but only over 3000 RPM. And again I just wanted to check the boost make sure that's working in line with what it should be and I'm happy with what I'm seeing on screen there. So at this point through driving and also through feel of everything I can kind of guarantee that it is the MAF sensor, but what I do need to do is to replace it. So with the diode mod above 3000 RPM, I was seeing full if not more power through the fact that the ECU was being told it was getting full air, so you can put the full amount of fuel into it. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to watch as I take the old MAF sensor off. Hey. So we're going to take the intake pipe off first. There's a couple of screws, so we're just going to undo those. Now some people have said that you can clean MAF sensors, um, I've decided it was best to go with a new one. I went with one for about £28-£30 delivered, uh, I think it might be a remanufactured one, um, we'll, we'll show that in a minute. So these screws can be a bit tricky, just get in there with the right size screwdriver which I didn't quite do, but they will just come off. So with the diode mod I felt the power coming back over 3000 RPM but it was still sluggish before then so up to about 2000 RPM it was there or thereabouts. So on the left is the new MAF sensor, on the right is the old one. It doesn't really look much different so it must be the wire that's running inside of it just completely worn out and not working as it should do. Again this is just to show how they look. You can't really tell the difference apart from maybe one doesn't look like it's the most shiny new plastic. So we're going to get the new math, we're going to pop that on, stick the screws in there. And then we're going to do all the piping up, we're going to check that, I'm going to get some new logs done as well. And let's see what we get out of the new logs. So it won't take a moment to do it all up. And almost the last thing is just to put the spring clip over the hose. Uh, this can be a bit tricky using mole grips. I would like to get a spring clip tool at some point, but this tends to do it. Sometimes it takes a couple of attempts to do. You saw earlier, they can fly off when you take them off. Just be patient and adjust your mole grips. And the very last thing is to put the connector on. So we'll just put that on 
and let's pull up some results and look at how the VADCOM results differ. So we'll have a look at what we had now it's all been fitted and I'll give you some side by side comparisons to show you how it's all turned out. So the first thing we see with the two comparisons side by side, the right is after, the left is before. We see on the right one that the yellow air mass is moving around all over with the revs which is fantastic. And again here with the before on the left and the after on the right, we can see on the right that the fueling is moving in line with the revs, with the torque requests, with everything that's being put through there. So again, really happy with that. And lastly, just looking at the boost, this wasn't an issue, but I just wanted to show that it was working in line before and after the math were fixed. Again, maybe boosting a bit higher than it should do, but I'm happy with that. So the overall result is that I have seen my normal power back in the car. It now behaves as it did before the math went. What I've shown you here is the process I've gone through. So I believe that the math was at fault, but I didn't want to go out and spend the money on a new math until I could confirm that it was. So I've used the diode mod, which showed me that given a circuit that it would make the power. The reason for the delay up to 3000 RPM is the uh, voltage drop that you get over the diode. After 3000 RPM, the voltage picks up enough to put across a full reading. Um, when I put the new math in, we can see that everything is working fine and okay there. And part of the reason I've gone to do this extensive sort of checking and logging and everything is to illustrate to people, you know, what this can be. But also I've heard of all sorts of issues where people have replaced turbos, intercoolers, piping, the wrong parts, uh, they've been looking into the vacuum lines. And the main point is that with Audis and VWs, VACOM does give you a lot of information. So if you want to use VACOM, go and check out rostech.com. Uh, you can buy the cables, the official ones through Rostec with uh, the VAGCOM or you can get the free version from VAG Rostec and you can also get a cable from eBay or anywhere like that. It's just a really handy piece of kit. Now if anyone has any comments or any questions please leave them in the comment section below. If you would like to see more videos like this then please hit the subscribe and more important than anything thank you for watching.